Hello everyone. We may end up reading this article in two parts. I'm not sure there's a lot involved in reading this informational article. I think you'll enjoy it because there are a lot of websites that you can click into. And I will also give you a link or I will upload this document itself to Canvas so that you can click on the links to investigate these websites um, further if you would like to. So here we go. Take a virtual tour of these 12 amazing museums closed because of coronavirus by Maria Puente, USA Today, adapted by Nucella staff on March 23, 2020. If the link has this star, then there is a small icon on the bottom right of the screen so you can get a 360 degree tour from the website or there is something special you can do or see. Make sure you click into the Panda Cams, Ms. York's. Panda Cams are, of course, my favorite. Some of the other links have some things that you can see and do. I just couldn't figure them out as quickly. So here we go. Even in the absence of a crisis, museums are refuges of calm and contemplation. In these anxious times, they are more needed than ever. But most museums and art galleries are now closed because of the coronavirus, and we're all stuck at home for a while. So what to do? The answer? Virtual tours. As it happens, Google Arts and Culture partnered with more than 2,500 museums and galleries around the world to offer virtual tours of their collections and spaces way before the corona pandemic. You could spend hours here traveling the world or even just museum clog New York City. Pyrrhus will say nothing substitutes for actually seeing a work of art or an artifact in person, especially not peering at it in pixels on a small screen. And the purists are right. But these are not pure times, and even without a pandemic, plenty of people are unable to travel to see the world's tre treasures in person. So a virtual tour, especially when it's offered through in-room settings is better than no tour at all. You'd rather be shopping? Keep in mind, almost every museum now offers delectable gifts and art through online shopping. Here are some to try in the United States. National Gallery of Art, Washington, D.C. The nation's premier people-owned art museum lists over 42,000 artworks online and two special exhibits. Vermeer and the Masters of Genre Painting from the gallery's 2018 exhibit focuses on the always popular 17th century Dutch master Johannes Vermeer. The other is a different sort of treat, fashioning a nation is a brief survey of Americans' fashions from 1740 to 1895, taken from a visual archive of more than 18,000 watercolor renderings of American decorative art objects produced in the early 20th century. Disappointed you won't be able to see the wacky fashions ladies wear today because the Met Gala in May has been canceled? Never mind. Take an up-close look at the elegant, elaborate dresses ladies wore in the 18th and 19th centuries. Works of art indeed. All right, so let's look. We'll click on the link, and I think we have to hit Control Museum, or <laughs> Control and click on the link. Okay, so when you first click in, I couldn't find too much in this right away until I scroll down a little bit and you can get some more information of course but these I guess are the online exhibits so if you're into fashion or would like to see some of those lovely fashions the ladies wore back then you can scroll through here and maybe get some ideas on how to bring some 
well, maybe not that one, but bring back some, um, I don't know, some old styles back into today. Actually, some of these you actually see in some dresses today. Okay, anyway, let's go back. And for those of you that love art, you can kind of cruise through these and read about these different paintings and the artists themselves. And some of them give a bit more detail than others, a bit up close to really see the artwork and then they explain it in the information off to the sides. Again, if you're interested in art, you might like this. If not, we'll wait until we get to one of the other articles and see if we find something you like better. All right, so let's see. We're here. Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery, Washington, D.C. At least 12 of the Smithsonian Institution's 20 museums offer virtual tours, including the National Zoo, where the panda cams are still going, but the pandas are not always visible. I will tell you, however, that if you check back every few hours, you will find a time where they're eating their little bamboo and they are so cute. Okay, so sorry, back to the article here. The National Portrait Gallery has been especially crowded in recent years thanks to the wildly popular portraits of former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama. All right, so there are a couple links that we'll check out. We'll try the National Zoo first. Okay, pretty picture. And again, if you want to read a little bit more information, you can. Now, I clicked into this one earlier. You could try all of them, but there was something pretty interesting in this one. Okay, so let's see. Innovations in Species Survival, the Gamboa Amphibian Research and Conservation Center. All right. The National Zoo has projects spanning the globe. Let's take a trip from the Smithsonian's National Zoo in Washington, D.C. to the Gamboa Amphibian Research and Conservation Center in Panama to set the stage for an exploration of innovations in amphib amphibian preservation. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, that was that was crazy. Okay, <laughs> let's see what this is. All right, so kind of a 360 degree view here. It says near the Smithsonian's Gamboa Field Station, you can ascend a tower and look out over the forest canopy in the Panama Canal in the distance. Wow. All right, let's click on this link, see where it takes us. Okay, play video, I'm always up for that. A tropical research community on the edge of the Panama Canal. Think about this too. When you get out of high school, most of you are gonna have to have a job. These people that we're seeing in these videos, this is what they do every day. This is their job, they get paid for this. So if you can find something that you think is really great or it's cool or you would love to do it and then you get paid on top of it, that's 
pretty nice. So let's see what these guys get paid to do every day. Oh, 3.30 in the morning. Yikes. Is that a bat? Oh my goodness. Curiosity never sleeps. That's for certain. Okay, let's close out of that. So as you can see, there's definitely some interesting information that you can explore through. Um, well, let's see what this is. Okay, it looks like it's the same thing, so I'll have to let you guys kind of explore through that particular one to see if there's more information on this website. Our city and Sweeker. I don't know. Okay, so if anything sounds interesting, just kind of scroll through and take a look. Um, let me see what this next page was. Welcome to our new Gamboa Amphibian Research and Conservation Center. Okay. Oh, what is he? Oh, okay. So if you're into um, strange looking animals, this might be, oh, look how teeny tiny he is. The tiny poison frog species smaller than a dime, was discovered and described for the first time in Panama in 2014. They simulated breeding conditions in a rescue pod. Okay, that's kind of cool. So anyway, as you can see, this could be pretty interesting if you just take some time to click around and click in the links, at least on topics that you yourself are interested in. And I think we're going to do one more thing and then stop for this part of the day. We're going to go see the panda cams. Okay, so we'll click here. Panda cams. Okay, they better be awake. And there's a cam one and a cam two, as you can see here. Okay, you guys can donate all you want. Let's see if I can make this larger. Um... Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing that now. Remind me later. Okay, bigger screen. Remind me later. Not now. Okay, let's try the other cam. It says it's live, but... Let me go back to the other one. Try cam two. Okay, I see the bamboo. This is live, but where the little panda is, I do not know. Hold on a second. I'll pause this, and I'm going to see if I can go back to cam one. Okay, this is the live cam, and if you watch carefully around the panda's stomach, this was cam one. You can see the panda breathing. So he, she is sleeping right now. This must be on the Smithsonian's camera. It needs an update. So when I record part two of this later, I'll click in and see if maybe they fixed their restart now. And hopefully our sleeping panda will be awake. So I'm going to stop here and we'll finish um, the rest of this article in part two. Possibly even there will be a part three. Have a great day.